Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Rebel Galaxy, and we have an incoming hail. I'll be frank. My patience has worn thin. I want the Spectre, and you're going to give it to me. You sent Black Hand Sims after me, huh? Yes, of course. Don't be dense. And he wasn't the only one. Just the most unlucky so far. But I can't let you leave the system, and with Juno free again, I imagine that's just what you're angling to do. Too true. And what are you going to do about it? I'm going to take it, of course. Or you can give it to me. It's your choice, I suppose. Yeah, ID is an unsavory, unsavory character, so you know what? Over my dead body. Ah, well. Regrettable. Goodbye, then. Indeed. Yeah, I had just left the system, or just left the station from the last episode, and Sandar and his group was apparently waiting for me. Oh, wow. We've got multiple... multiple baddies here. Woo! Okay. Well, this is new and exciting. Well, I guess let's take care of the bodyguard first and foremost, and then we'll take care of our good friend Sandar. And I just realized that we are standing still. Aha! Gotcha now. Let's go have him eat laser. I think it's cool that the lasers automatically stop when you, um... When you turn on your deflectors. I think that's a nice little touch. Well, these are some nasty ships. These are actually Icarus craft as well. So we are fighting a uh, Tigris den. There we go. That's one. Alright, no ordnance. We got a double jack advanced gunship. I wasn't aware there were fighters. Ooh. I guess Skiza's doing her job. Yeah, we got another bodyguard. And there was a lot of bounties there. Holy crap. Let's pay our respects to this bodyguard. It's a dangerous line of work he's in. And then we should be good to uh, give Sandar 100% of our focus. There we are. And I probably should have done that a little bit better, but that's okay. You drop soy paste. And a double jack fighter. Wow. I love this. Okay, Sandar. We're good to go. Let's see what you got. Well, your laser missed. I guess you were going after Skiza. But this is actually a pretty nasty ship. I'm hitting it with multiple... Uh, multiple laser salvos. <laughs> no need to be rash, huh? Uh, let's put this little misunderstanding behind us, huh? Uh, how does 30,000 credits in your pocket strike you? Hmm. I have this feeling that my character in this game... We saw how vindictive he was against the Double Jack uh, Cruiser, or against the base, rather. And have you stabbed me in the back again? Forget it. You're dead. I'd have thought one of Juno's clan would be more pragmatic. Devil take you then. Now let's go ahead and finish him off here. Pragmatic is not in my vocabulary. Apparently. Let's go ahead and finish you off, Sandar. 
This is not how I expect. See, I had logged on just to uh, do some money runs to earn our hyperdrive, and we run right into this. So that's fun. Yeah, if you go ahead and. And those shields uh, regen very, very quickly. There we are. Ooh, 13,000 credit bounty. I like that. Well, goodbye, Sandar. You will not be missed. Space slaves, narco cola, live organs, and Mark I magna mines. Neat. Let's look at the map here. Alrighty. Well, what does actually what does that give? Sixty-six thousand credits. So we are actually almost there to uh, getting our jump drive. Let's head over here to this base and see if we can sell any of our ill-gotten gains. And we might be able to go ahead and get the jump drive now. I'm glad that I killed Sandar because I'm sure that that would come back to bite me a little bit later. And no damage to the Tigress. Excellent. Let's go to the commodities market. And. Ooh, we can sell space slaves. There's our jump drive, guys. Excellent. Sell the soy paste as well. Um, they won't take the bio waste or the narco cola, but they'll take slaves. That's very strange. And live organs. The system average is 16,000, but we're about to leave the system anyway. So I'll go ahead and sell that. And let's get our jump drive. Oh, we have surplus too. Forgot about that. Mark 1 Magna Mines. Nearby. Enemy capital ships and detonate on contact. I don't think... Ah, Mark 1 Magna Mines. Alright. Well, we already have Mark 2 Flak Cannons, so I'm not that worried. Let's sell these. So we have over 105,000. And here's our jump drive. So we now have greater range across the entire galaxy. That makes me happy. And we will check the bar, just to make sure if there's any mercs that... Nope, Skiz is sitting there, enjoying her victory drink. Of her enemy's blood, I would assume. And is there anything else here that I need to acquire, or should I save my money? You know what, considering how expensive some of the stuff apparently gets in this game, let's go ahead and save our money. Engines at maximum. Now are there any bases um, that we are going to pass on our way to the jump gate? Looks like we'll be passing Storm Station. Accelerating to sublight. So we'll head there. And see if we can sell off the rest of our illegal cargo, and hopefully we won't get stopped by the authorities. Because that's gonna be an issue. Because at least the authorities give you an option to drop your cargo. Which is good. And I said before, I would much rather have sold those space slaves and had them just floating out in the black like that. And probably, uh, in a much better position, had... Um, they stayed with Sandar. You picked the wrong fight. Tuh. Well, bet that was anticlimactic for them. What what was the stellar Oh, part of the junk field. Boo. Well, this'll be a quick jump. Come on, Storm Station. Let's go ahead and dock so we can try and sell this stuff off. Need some more monies. Excellent. We will sell the Narco Cola. 
and we will sell all the bio waste as well. Just get it all out of the out of the hold. And the religious track too. I forgot that I had that in there. Awesome. Looks good to me. Let's blow this popsicle stand, as they say. And we get to find out what uh Oops. It did the auto dock, didn't it? Or did I press E? I'm pro I'll probably press D. E. There we are. Because I'm really curious what jump uh, gate technology is like in this game. And what kind of new things we'll find in our next system. Because we've seen the Merchant's Guild already. And we've ran into Double Jack Pirates and uh, Corian Outsiders. And the Red Devil Cartel. I wonder, uh... I wonder what else we're going to run into. Because there's been a lot just in this first introductory system. Oop! Ooh! Oh, that is a jump gate. Indeed. Jump to Fersenko system. Engage! Excellent. I like that. Jumper achievement unlocked. So that's very similar to Wing Commander, as there'll probably be multiple jump gates here for a uh, jump gate to the adjacent system. So you can't just like jump from here to here. You got to go the long way around. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, take a look at our map here. Yep. We got multiple, uh, multiple jump gates. System Militia Outpost. Alrighty. Mercenary Guild Station. Awesome. And Merchant's Guild Station. There's a lot here. Anything here on the outline? Sectors? Siegecraft? Huh. Well, let's talk to uh, Juno, and we'll get our uh, get our briefing. And we have mil a militia cruiser. Really good thing that we dropped that cargo when we did. Whoop. And maybe we can find some new mercenaries too. First things first. Let's go ahead and check the shipyard. And there's the Tenhausen, the Scarab. The Dravius. Heavy frigate, uniquely vertically aligned broadside placement, and six turret mounts, as well as a spacious hold. That's kind of a cool looking ship. The Vanguard. Yeah, look at all these high dollar craft. The McKinley. The McKinley is the most heavily armored and outfitted cruiser available. Holy crap, with 8 turrets and 12 broadside ports. It's slow, though. And the Polaris. The most maneuverable dreadnought class vessel available. Commonly known as Lucky 13. Slow and average with 13 broadsides and 13 turrets. Whew. Holy crap. It's kind of intimidating for my little Tigress here. Let's check the equipment bay. What do you have available for me? Ah, all right. So you just go up to uh, Mark Three. That'll make it a uh, easier equipment procuring, I would think. Gonna need a lot more money though. Hopefully the jobs pay better. Let's check the mission board to make sure. Forty-six thousand. Yeah, I think we're, we're we'll be in good shape. And we still got Skiza here. Let's uh, meet Juno. Glad to see you made it. If we're lucky, we can keep the heat off for a little while and catch our breath. I have a feeling any quiet won't last long. Yeah, you're probably right about that. This is busier territory, though. Easier to get lost in. Now, about the specter. What'd you call it? Trail? Yeah, that's right. As long as you got it, there's a target on your back. The smart move would be to sell it. Or her, I guess. Yeah, no way. I can't believe we went through all this just to get rid of her. Good to know we're on the same page. I never was one to do things a smart way. 
Besides, she might have other ideas. This isn't just an object of curiosity anymore. Well, Trill's trying to assemble her memories, and we've been hunting down fragments. Maybe that leads to some answers? It could be. I happen to know someone who may be able to help in that department. A fellow by the name of Boris Kyle, a collector of oddities, you might say. He might have seen one of these fragments in circulation. <laughs> Worth a shot, anyway. Sounds like a plan. Here, let me mark down the station he calls home. A place called Hedonville. I'd warn you to watch your back. But you seem to have learned to do that just fine, all on your own. Well, thanks, Juno. You take care now. Bye-bye, then. Well, should we go ahead and start upgrading our gear? I mean, we've got the money. We might as well. Let's see. Um, equipment bay. Start upgrading. Let's how much are the mining turrets? Mark II mining laser, which is what I have. Mark, ooh! 138 credits per mining laser, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. We got swarm turrets. Um, those are for fighters, though. I'd be out of luck against capital ships. Well, never mind. I guess we do have a lot of gear to acquire. Mach 3 shields, or Mark 3. And deflector. Ooh! Goodness, goodness. Well, let's go ahead and talk to this uh, person that Juno wants us to speak to. Where do we need to go? Stellar map. Hedonville, which sounds absolutely charming. Now, you're over there, but I do want to explore the rest of this system first. I was hoping you were going to be near the Militia Station or the Merc Guild. I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and try out the Militia Base first. Take care now. Bye-bye, then. We're going to try that first, and then we're going to pay a visit to the Mercenary Guild and see what we can do there. Because I would like to be a card-carrying member of both guilds. I hope they allow that. I don't remember in the Privateer games if you were allowed to be part of both guilds. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. Now, I would normally pause the recording here and get back with you guys, but we have a lot of this place to explore and we need to see the uh, offensive capability of any baddies that we run into just to see how uh, over my head I am. Oop. Whoa! Holy crap! That base came out of nowhere. Equipment bay, visit the bar. Oh, this is just a normal station. That's unfortunate. And we got a lower mer mercenary there. Maybe we can get some decent Black Star Crucible, the Arcturus class destroyer for military use with heavy armor, nine turret mounts, and eight broadside boards. Ooh, the civilian edition is in high demand with mercenary corporations. All right, well, I think we kind of struck out here. It's good to know we have another base style, though. So let's go pay a visit to the Mercenary Guild. Stellar map. You are way over here, though. That's fine, though. These trips have been a lot faster since we upgraded the warp drive. Engines at maximum. And we will see what happens here. But that also leads to a very interesting question: whether we can go ahead. Hey Skinner, name's Kofax. Heard you've been making a name for yourself in certain circles. Maybe we should talk. Come meet me when you're ready. Beg your pardon? Stellar map. Oh, wow. Well, we can talk to someone here if we wish. So we got another, uh, another job hub. That's awesome. Let's head to the Mercenaries Guild first, and then we may pay a visit to uh, Kofax, depending on how much time is left. But the interesting question is, should we spend a lot of time in this system, just upgrading all of our stuff and get a, maybe get a new ship? 
I don't know. There's a lot that we could do. That's one of the in fun things about uh, these sandbox games. It's really an embarrassment of riches. There's so much to do. I beg your pardon? Oh my lord! <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, ooh. E yeah. <laughs> well, that was uh, fun. Let's never do it again. That was a huge warship. That was like a Corian Dreadnought or some such. Kerch! Let's see how much damage they did just with one laser salvo. That was crazy. Everything got... Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. Let's talk to the guild master. Welcome to the Mercenaries Guild. What do you need? Well, I'm interested in joining the guild. Can you tell me a little bit about the benefits? The law doesn't stretch far out here, so at the end of the day, we make our own. The Mercenaries Guild has the reputation and the resources to do what the law can't. There's a lot of scum out there that needs cleaning up. I like cleaning up scum. And if you sign up, you'll have access to our resources. We have unique vessels and weaponry to help you get the job done right. And the further you advance, the greater those benefits are. We provide the contracts, you provide the muscle. Everybody wins. Well, thanks for the info. You look very similar to the uh, Merchant Guild guy. Are you the Nurse Joy of the system? Well, we got 30,000 credits to burn. Why not? Welcome to the team. You won't regret it. I look forward to it. Thanks for coming by. So let's check out. Yeah, repairs needed. <laughs> 2,000 credits in one laser salvo. Woo! Repairs complete. So we've got the Sturville. Very fast. Very fast. Broadside port 6, turrets 5, component banks 3, hold size 15. Excellent armament for such a hull class, including six broadside ports and five turret mounts. Ooh. That's pretty cool. That actually... Yeah, that's the... That's a, um... A buffed up... Icarus. Check it out. It has a similar, uh... Hull design right here. Made by a different corporation, though. Still. That is a fine-looking vessel. We may want to, uh save up our money and procure one of these requires a guild rank of three though so let's look at the equipment bay and what do you guys have available I think you guys are still offering all all the plain mark three stuff which is fine antimatter probe antimatter probe can only be fired once every 54 seconds for use against distant Karja groups as it features an enormous range and extremely large blast radius. Holy crap, look at that damage. Woo! I might want to get like one of those for the turret just to have that added boom. So that is some new uh, gear. Ceramic hull plating, so different types of uh, armor. Same type of shields. Mark III Ramming Deflector. Ramming deflectors inflict damage upon impact with other craft. Oh! Offensive shields, huh? Thought I'd seen it all. Well, I think this was a good investment. Now we just have to make sure that we don't die here in this system. Threat level blue. And maybe do some jobs here. But I think we may... Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, hook a U here and dock with the guild again and see what kind of missions they offer because I didn't even think about that. Because if we need to start gaining faction with these guys... <laughs> start small. Yeah, we got green and orange here. Zico Web Contract. Contract has been posted for Zeke Web. Interested guild members be advised that the target is located near Laodemia Ridge. 
10,000 credit fee will be promptly paid for elimination of the target and any fighter cover. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I don't think we're in the weight class to take any orange or red missions yet in this system. But we'll start with a green. And we got a little bit of time. Oh, it's close. Engines at maximum. Yeah, let's see what happens here. What could, possi what could possibly go wrong? Except for alien dreadnoughts appearing out of nowhere and blasting my ship to hell. <laughs> but that's all part of the business, as they say. Distress beacon detected. Well, we're a little, little too late. Red Devil Hammerhead. Ooh! That's a big ship! Hmm. Alrighty. Are we doing any damage to him? A little bit. Okay, Skiza. I don't... Don't know what the score is here. Oh, that is a lot of red. We just took a lot of damage. Oh, there's a... Because of all the fighters. Didn't even think about it. Alright, are all the... We got two more fighters here. One more fighter here. Take care of the bomber. Hey! Oh, yeah, that's ramming speed. That'll... That'll work. Well, the good news is... We only have these two ships to deal with. Let's deal with the hammerhead first. I mean, we already have some significant damage to the Tigress. And that ship has a lot... Urch, a lot of offensive capability. Okay, the hammerhead's gotta go. Come on now. There we are. Rock out some broadsides. Now, Skis is still distracting, which is good. I really want to take care of this hammerhead, though. There we go. Alright, he's done. Now it's just us and Zeke. This is a pretty nasty looking ship. I wonder what type it is. I know he seems to have missiles out the wazoo. Holy crap, he's got a lot of missiles. Okay, we got no deflectors. We're trying to make it through his hull. Or through his shields. Even with the Mark II mining lasers, that has seemed to be quite a chore. Oh, alright. We've got him. Yeah. Broadside. Broadsides for days. Awesome. So we had a bounty as well. And that's why he kept on shooting us. He just had a... He had a ton of ordnance. Let's pulse. Oh, is that the... Hold on a sec. I think what we did is we just ran into the distress signal as well. That's why we had so much nastiness right there. Alright. Well, we don't need ordnance. I see some illegal stuff here, too. We got... Oh, it's just bio-waste. Okay. Well, that was a bit rough, but we were able to make it through. So let's go ahead and return to the Mercenaries Guild station, and then we will plan our next move. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.